beautiful Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your monthly reading for September 2021. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not have uh, Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I do not take money, e-gifts or donations. So anyone masquerading as me um, asking for any of those things, it is a scam. Please report them. Let's get straight to your monthly reading, my beautiful Pisces. Now I'm going to cleanse your space hourly as well as mine. I thought it would be nice to sync our energies. Um, and if you do have headphones in, please adjust them. I do not want to hurt your wonderful ears. Let us begin. September. What to expect from the month? Well, it's going to be a difficult transition for most signs, just to let you know. We have that wonderful new moon in uh, Virgo, um, and that is occurring on the 6th of September. But also we have a full moon in your sign, Pisces. So it is a time to uh, be extra sensitive, uh, but also uh, intuitive during that time, Mercury goes into retrograde straight after on the 27th of September. So bringing a little bit of delay or chaotic energy in terms of communication. Um, but as Neptune goes into Pisces, it opposes the Virgo placements, which may ask you to question your direction, may make you feel a little bit uncertain, may make you feel a little bit like um, not confident about your decisions. Please pay close attention to your intuition. It will never lead you astray, but it is going to be a month where you start to question things and it may erode your confidence in certain areas, but that is what Neptune is doing when it opposes Virgo. So just be mindful. Basically, that is your protagonist energy. Be mindful, you got this. The protagonist energy is the empress, male or female, not a gender specific reading. They want you to realize you are enough and that you've got what it takes to navigate this time period. Also, you're in search of happiness. I mean, who isn't? But uh, the empress card indicates you're putting your own needs first. That is not a selfish act, Pisces. Uh, I feel like you're, um, oh, how was I to receive? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, oh wow. So, a uh, very positive time. You're navigating this uh, September quite well, actually. Uh, so, but you are questioning your direction, okay? So the judgment card indicates some sort of epiphany or wake up call. This is about uh, questioning your life's purpose. So there is a turning point, which is brings a lucky surprise, uh, but let's see how the energy is coming through for you. Now, Okay, they're showing me uh, some image, an image straight away. Now this is not going to resonate for everybody, but they're showing me two black and white dogs, okay? I feel like, well, they're a pair. Uh, it feels like it's an ornament. Um, it's almost like these uh, dogs are kind of, hmm, how can I put that? They, they're like porcelain dogs. They are they do come in a pair, black and white, um, and it's almost like they're, they're upright. Okay, and the way that they're looking is, it's almost like their body is pointed in one direction, but their head is looking in another direction. Okay, so it's almost like they're slightly um, focusing obviously on the viewer, but their bodies are kind of focusing on each other. I feel like they're a pair, they kind of match in their energy. Um, I'm not really sure what that means. Uh, perhaps it is about two opportunities coming towards you, or uh, it could be just that someone has gifted you or some sort of inheritance has come your way and you inherited these um, ornaments. They look like they're old school ornaments actually, uh, or perhaps they were gifted to you a, a long time ago and Spirit is trying to give you a, um, a sign uh, that that person, that relative who gifted you that or who they are associated with uh, are with you at this time as we navigate the energy. Um, I mean, it could be that you just purchased two ornaments, two black and white dogs, or it could be that you have two black and white dogs, but actually they just look like they're ornaments. So I'm not really sure. It could be 
your commitment to some sort of goal or dream is going to be awarded with something. Uh, so I'm not really sure how it connects to your reading straight off the bat. I mean, I just got the, that image there. I'm scrying at the same time as I'm reading the um, the cards for you. So if that re is resonant in some way for you, there's something in this message for you, Pisces. It's not going to resonate for everyone, of course. It doesn't mean it's not your reading if it does not connect to you. It just means that person that it does connect to has uh, their attention may have wavered momentarily. So they just want them to pay close attention to the reading. Anyway, back to the Empress card. Uh, this is about abundance. You're in pursuit of a goal or a dream that you've been really working hard on uh, or something that you've been nurturing. Okay, it means that it's taken a while to really attend to, care about, uh, put all your effort, your energy, your know-how into it. Uh, it's almost like some sort of vision that you had for your future or happiness uh, that you've been working really hard on is starting to blossom or starting to bear fruit in September. Okay, uh, the Empress card can also be a card of, um, you know, there's a new version of yourself. Uh, you're brimming with a lot of potential in all areas, Pisces. I mean, not only that, but you may be paying attention to your looks. Um, and, you know, you may have felt like you've been neglecting yourself recently in certain areas, whether it's your health or uh, your, your body or, uh, I mean, your energy. You could have felt disconnected from um, yourself and felt like you were not feeling... 100% you may feel a little bit fed up in certain areas and um, you're coming back to yourself and starting to find that motivation that drive to really sort of invest in yourself and um, you know do some sort of I don't know uh, like diet that's good for your health or pay more close attention to your health but I feel like there's an amplified energy of manifestation here um, whatever it is you are wanting or magnetizing towards you, um, you are ripe with uh, potential and, and there are infinite possibilities for you to achieve whatever it is you're setting out to achieve. Um, but it's, it's almost like it starts with a visualization. It starts with a desire. Okay. And you got to be really clear on what it is that you want because you're manifesting it. It's taking its time because it's in the resistance position. It is slow moving process. Um, but the good things, the things that are meant to be with us, that are healthy for us, uh, they often take time to mature. Okay. You know, you've got the empress there and then the next st stage up is the emperor. So it's about maturing. Uh, something is maturing. It's coming towards you. Um, but it's requiring your, your care, your attention, your love. Okay. Um, also, um, it's going to transform in terms of abundance because we have that butterfly there, so which butterfly energy is transformative. Okay, um, so they're just asking me to look at this. Ooh. Okay, I've never seen that before in this card. It's interesting. I've had these cards for so long, Pisces, you know, and uh, often spirit guide me to look at certain areas in the card because I'm scrying most of the time. And I've never noticed this in this card. And I just got a little bit of a ooh about it. And I'll show you why. Because deep in this figure, this uh, Empress's sleeve, there's a little skull. Okay, a uh, little skull right there. It is so tiny. I almost need like a magnifying glass. I'm going to try and put it right up to the screen. I hope you can see it right there. Okay, now skulls, uh, they, they connect to the death card energy. So again, with that butterfly energy, it's about an ending, bringing a new beginning. But it can also be, um, you know, something toxic in your world, whether it is you've been overeating or uh, eating the wrong foods or you've been letting the wrong sort of people into your world and uh, or letting the wrong people occupy your mind space, your head space, um, and trying to manipulate uh, or emotionally uh, blackmail you in some way, um, or try and control you, or there's something here, could even be procrastination, something, I'm going to pull a quick card on it, something has um, almost kept you away from yourself, if that makes, I hope that makes sense, it's almost like if you've been trying to move forward and work on something, something's been distracting you. If you've, you know, been trying to pay attention to good eating habits, you know, uh, maybe you've been tempted and had some toxic food. Now, you know, Pisces, a little bit of naughtiness every so often is good for you, right? We got to keep the variety of, you know, spice. What is it? Variety is the spice of life. Whoa. Um, so, you know, I'm not telling you to put down that cream cake or anything like that. Um, but they're in, I'm just going to move this here and move that back there. 
Okay. Um, yeah, it's about willpower, but it's also about something here, cutting something out that is making you feel depleted in energy and not being your best self. So whether that's you're not getting enough rest, for example, uh, you may see that all of a sudden, I don't know why they're giving it to me like this Pisces, but they are, so I'm going to go with it. You know, if you haven't been getting enough rest, you may notice that you've got dark circles under your eyes, especially if you're not having enough water. Now, as soon as I've gone off and mentioned that, they're showing me, um, my gosh, what are those little cabbage things? All of you are screaming at the screen, I'm sure. Uh, Brussels sprouts. Okay, uh, so for example, if you're trying to get, uh, I'm going to have to look that up, but if you're trying to get uh, dark circles away because you've been working really hard, burning the candle at both ends, um, you know, uh, I feel like water and things like Brussels sprouts, <laughs> my gosh, I'm going to have to look that up, um, take away the dark circles or something like that. The Four of Swords in the reverse indicates a restlessness, an anxiety, a burnt out energy, something, you know, it's a that card basically means be ready to act because something is coming your way and you need to be your best self to embrace it whether that's success whether that's an opportunity whether that is um the abundance that you've been seeking for a while pisces you want to be in your best self energy uh in order to embrace it because the empress card she embraces the goodness but she's already put the work in you know seeds that have already been sown are starting to blossom and bear fruit um, and you've got to be ready to receive it. The strength card needs indicates you need to be strong enough, bold enough. You know, whatever it is you've been struggling with, uh, this is uh, an energy of uh, take courage. Um, you can move forward now um, with this energy. You know, even, it doesn't matter how small or how big you are, um, you know, you can see that little beautiful little, um, just to let you know, by the way, um, the decks I've been using, the first deck I'm using is... Um, the Ex Animo Tarot deck by Bono Gurr. Beautiful Major Arcana deck only. It's so gorgeous. I love it. Uh, and also The Way of the Panda, uh, which is um, by Kimberly M. San and it is illustrated by Celia LaBelle. Uh, but this strength card indicates, if you have a look there, see that little mouse? Like this tiny little mouse is like dressed like Robin Hood. Okay, so it's almost like fighting the good fight. You got to be ready for it, Pisces. And you're the sort of person who you lead with your heart. You you love balance, harmony, and you know you try and see the good in everybody. You're very um, nurturing and caring. So I feel like you got to you know build up your strength for something. Okay, be ready because there's major changes here to your path and they're really positive ones. It's, it's that they want you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. So be ready. Okay, the strength card also indicates confidence, self-assurance. Um, and wherever you struggled, it's about, uh, you know, having that self-love to know that you should be compassionate with yourself that, you know, um, the world circumstances right now is very difficult. We're all trying to navigate um, our way through a major pandemic, for example, and we're spinning all of the plates trying to get the bills paid or get a job if you lost your job because, you know, right at the beginning, uh, a lot of us lost our jobs, lost our situations, and we had to find another route. Um, so, or if you're trying to look for that other route, you know, it's about being easy with yourself. It's not personal, it's the world circumstances, but the right opportunity will never pass you by and it will come towards you. Have courage, take courage and strength, knowing um, that um, you will overcome the obstacles and be ready because there is something coming towards you. They want you to embrace it, okay? Uh, now, just as I'm putting these cards down, they're showing me an image of an egg uh, being broken and there being two yolks in there, two golden yolks in one egg. So it's almost like either you found out that you're pregnant because the Empress card is uh, a card of um, uh, bearing fruit in terms of pregnancy as well, can be uh, creative, you know, giving birth to either new ideas or experiences, but could also be uh, giving birth to uh, children. So perhaps you're expecting twins there uh, because it's an egg, obviously, with two yolks there. So either you are growing twins, if that's you, congratulations, or you just had twins, congratulations. Um, but it could also be you birthing an idea or uh, some sort of abundant project that you've been working on or a goal or dream. It's almost like it brings double luck or double excitement. Uh, it's almost like you're expecting one thing and then something else comes along and attaches to it. And it, it's, yeah, you're getting double the manifestation. So I feel, yeah, if it's a new start, because eggs often um, 
connect to new starts or new life, uh, whatever it is you're trying to uh, move towards there, there's a lot of positivity, hope and success. It could also mean that if you've just, uh, you know, been listening to this reading and you just cooked an egg, for example, you're like, Baba, two yolks came out of the egg. Okay, that's, there's something in this message for you. Okay, so please be mindful uh, how it connects to you. Um, and take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone, but if you're looking for a new opportunity, for example, it's almost like two are showing up at the same time. Um, now, the, the Sun card indicates positivity, um, a, a renewal of faith. If you've had a real uh, sort of, um, how can I put that? A, a test of faith or, you know, a real despair or confusion recently, there's an awakening here for you in September, Pisces. Um, something is going to blossom big time for you, whether it's a relationship or whether it's a goal, a dream or a friendship. I feel like you're trying to turn something around and see the positive in it. Even if you've had a negative experience, Pisces, uh, recently, I feel like you're trying to turn it around and come back to your center. If it meant you were disconnected from yourself, you're trying to reconnect to yourself and remember what it is that makes you happy or, um, you know, try to be in pursuit of happiness, try and find that pathway to the light if you've been feeling like there's been a bit of a, a negative energy or if you've been feeling a bit stagnant and felt there was a delay and there's been a blockage or whatever it is you've been working towards, putting all your nurture, your care in, I feel like there's going to be a shift. The challenge is moving through that energy. Uh, sometimes, you know, we feel a little bit unmotivated. And when we start to feel unmotivated, we start to get a little bit negative that things are not going to work in the way that we hope for. And because it hasn't happened already, it's probably not going to happen. I mean, it, sometimes it brings us down. And I'm not medically trained to talk about, uh, you know, technical terms like depression, but it can, it can lead to you feeling like you're unmotivated and um, I mean, depression is not unmotivation. Depression is a medical condition. As I said, I cannot um, discuss it further because I'm not um, medically trained on that. But I feel like it's this energy of you can't push past it. You cannot see uh, the positive. But there is a turn of events here. Obviously, if uh, you, you're you medically um, sort of um, de depressed in some way, then I would absolutely seek help in that way and they can help turn it round for you. Um, but I feel like there is a more positive uh, energy in the future, um, but it's, there's a challenge here. So I'm just going to pull a card and see what the challenge has been for you, my beautiful Pisces. Thank you so much. Three of Swords, some sort of loss, some sort of heartbreak, uh, three of Swords in the reverse um, indicates, you know, uh, you are recovering from something and it is taking a while. Now, whether that is uh, something in terms of your health, because you could have had a procedure there, Pisces, uh, they're showing me uh, right at the back, uh, it's on the right hand side, a shoulder. Okay, uh, right hand shoulder, uh, right at the back there, either you've pulled some sort of... Um, something in your back and you required a uh, an operation there, a procedure, or whether there's something to do with your right hand shoulder and you've recently had a procedure on that, um, you, you are recovering, go easy with yourself, take rest, just make sure you rest fully until such time as you're ready to act, because you got the four swords that came out just a moment ago. So they're indicating the challenge here is something that you feel like you've had to sort of recover from, whether that is heartbreak or some sort of loss of a job or a relationship. Um, the Three of Swords indicates that you are making headway on uh, recovering, but it's a slow process, okay? Um, there's also an energy here with the Three of Swords. Could even be that there was a miscommunication if uh, you know, you've know you had a heartbreak or some sort of uh, a disconnect from somebody it could be a miscommunication because they're just showing me like an arrow right now misfiring so either a message got misconstrued in the wrong way um, and you're uh, thinking oh how do I untangle the confusion in all of this or um, there's two people who kind of want the same thing but they don't know how to express themselves to get it um, I mean, be careful because when, around about the 27th of September, Mercury goes into retrograde. So whatever it is you're trying to achieve, Pisces, or 
if it requires communication of any kind, try to get it in before that 27th because things start to go a little bit chaotic after that. It, that may be the challenging time they're talking about here. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Four of Wands. Okay, so if there's been heartbreak and separation, I mean, the Four of Wands, um, if you're healing from that, uh, the Four of Wands indicates that there is a celebration. You're nearly there. Uh, you're nearly at the finish line for something. Or if you felt like you have lost your job or... Um, whatever it is you feel that you have been disconnected from it means that you're going to be reconnected to it in some way it doesn't mean it's the same thing it could be that you are for example finding new love or you are finding a new opportunity in terms of your workspace or finding a different way in a plan that you've got maybe tweaking the plan adjusting it to find a different way towards your abundance the four of wands indicates that there is success here that you are on the up you are moving you're elevating and overcoming the challenges in order to rise, okay? So I feel like there's a celebration that goes on with this Four of Wands. Um, now, if you've been going through the ringer, for example, you may be re reconnecting with friends uh, that you haven't heard from in a while so that you can really find your sense of self, your sense of center, okay? If you felt a little bit like it's knocked your confidence, you're being raised up there. I'm just gonna pull a card on the center of that one, two, would you like to receive uh, the center of that six of wands success yeah so i feel like yeah you're you're rising there's success here okay it's like a successful outcome whatever you've missed out on uh they're indicating there's some really good news that comes along to help you elevate or help you realize that you're not alone okay as you can see this panda right there they've got like a unicorn right on the top there of their head which is beautiful uh the, the unicorn um sort of horn right on the, the top there represents like crown chakra. And it's like a breakthrough on something that is pretty much like unbelievable, okay? I feel like it's an unbelievable kind of breakthrough. Um, as you can see all those stars there, they're aligning, but also they're shining for you. So I feel like it's like a major recognition or an award or some sort of um, successful news that puts you in the limelight for something. But it's something you work really hard for something that uh you know you've had a lot of losses and now's the time for the gains okay i feel like it was a surprise moment where everything just starts becoming easier for you you're getting a bit of a, a respite from the struggle as it were um also the six of uh fire is about or the six of wands there is about you sort of basking in the light of um a better time after a period of struggle or um, feel like you should give up on something because you feel like it's not happening uh, then all of a sudden there's a breakthrough moment you may have felt like giving up on something and then all of a sudden there it is the universe says okay don't give up on the vision here you go here's like a little indication that you're on the right route Okay, I feel like you are a bit of an influencer in your world. So whether you're setting up your own business and you've had to experience a loss before you experience a gain, or you are um, working really hard towards um, coming back to your center after a heartbreak um, or a financial loss, I feel like you're moving on up. You're being elevated and there is success just within sight. Okay, Pisces. Um, now, the outcome is the Wheel of Fortune. A lucky turn of events. Fate and destiny intervene. A lot of synchronicity in your world. You'll see double numbers. They're giving me 222 two, two, um, as a number. Uh, now, number two came up um, recently in the Cancerian reading. Uh, so perhaps two is important to you in some way and you have Cancerian placements. Um, the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune often indicates the Wheel of Life. Okay, sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down. Now is your time to be on the up, Pisces. So I feel like there's a lucky break or something just turns out perfectly, something that you're hoping for. Um, it's almost like your destiny becomes obvious because I feel like you're questioning it with that judgment card. The judgment card is weighing up options, seeing what is the right pathway for you, seeing what part of the plan works for you and discarding anything that does not. The judgment card is also a card of second chances. So if you feel like something did not go your way, I feel like it was another opportunity just like it showing up. Okay, just because 
that image they showed me earlier of the the egg yolks two egg yolks it's almost like a similar opportunity just shows up out of the blue or the judgment card is uh, your directional gauge and because uh, as i said with uh, this particular month you're questioning the journey it's you having like an epiphany or a a moment of clarity where you realize you know exactly what to do okay and then as soon as you do that your destiny becomes so um clear to you and things start becoming easier because now you're taking the first steps towards that life purpose okay uh, as soon as you are on the right path you you start to just notice that everything just comes to you the way that you're hoping for and these are all really positive cards the overall energy is a lot of success or some sort of risk or gamble uh, that you're sort of implementing in your world you may feel like you're a little bit out of your comfort zone but it pays off in a really positive way okay so if you feel like your path your destiny requires an extra bit of effort or uh, you know coming out of your comfort zone and sort of taking that leap of faith I feel like it really pays off and it's very powerful uh, change that puts you in alignment with your happiness or success or a joyful outcome now let's go towards the details and see what is coming towards you I'm using the uh, Tower of the Mystical Moments by Katrin Wolstein okay the seven of wands this is your energy Pisces you're stronger than you think okay whatever it is you've been fighting for or battling for here you're going to be successful because you never give up you're unstoppable with this energy the seven of uh, wands says yeah there's competition of course there is there's competition for everything in the world okay there's so many of us there's going to be a, at least a couple of hundred thousand of people in the world if not millions who want to do something similar to you Pisces but you've got that special something something and you got to believe that okay um, this is you making a major breakthrough and showing your strength in a certain area that allows you to shine you're a non-conformist okay your passion will drive you towards whatever it is you need and you will overcome the obstacles that are in your pathway okay because you've got sustained effort you are not compromising your morals um, and also you're at your personal best the time is now Pisces and you realize that You've endured quite a lot as you can see this strong man's got all those tattoos on them you know there's another skull and crossbones right there you've endured toxic energy you've endured temptation you've endured um, a fight with uh, you know destiny or a fight on your path you've endured heartbreak you've endured pain um, you've felt unanchored and not really known where you really fit in all of those um, sort of elements in your journey of life are building your story and are rising you up they heat they help teach you that you're stronger than you think and that you know whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger so I feel very much like you're proving yourself this month that you can do this but Pisces very important you're not here to prove yourself to anybody else but yourself okay so I'm just gonna pull a quick card on that before I feel, feel out what the challenge is for you the death card in the reverse something has been keeping you stuck the death card indicates resistance or obsess obsessive energy or stagnancy immobility but as you can see you're breaking free you're not going to be contained anymore Pisces you're moving forward towards your destiny and nothing or nobody is going to um, stop you really I just feel like you're going to blossom regardless the death card can I put that it's almost like something is not over okay um, so but I'm, I feel like you're proving yourself so either you're not leaving your job space but you're proving yourself you could be stepping into a new position for example you're not leaving it but you're proving a point or you're proving that something's not over um, yeah there's a delay on something or you may have felt like your hope was destroyed in some area and you're feeling really stuck but it's almost like you get the strength from somewhere to just get up and just turn it all around okay I feel like it's gonna be a really successful outcome but it starts with that belief in in yourself you know it's almost like if you have a vision uh, don't quit now okay because you're stronger than you think you're still gonna do this okay so anyway let's see what the challenge is for you in the month of September can you please clarify the challenge for my beautiful Pisces 
King of Cups. Okay. Now, King of Cups energy is you. Uh, it's almost like you you put your heart and your soul into everything, Pisces. Everything you got, you put your your all in there. And sometimes you may feel like you come across people who take, take, take your wonderful love, never give back, for example, or you feel like there's something that you want to do that right now something is preventing you from doing it. Either you feel um, unsure or uncertain about something. As you can see, that King of Cups energy, there's a ship and the King is holding up the ship. They're protecting the ship from the uh, uncharted waters, choppy waters. It's got some sharks there you know, sharks there, so shark infested waters, you feel something intuitively perhaps is a little bit, you can, you just don't trust it, okay? So you're protecting something. Now, whether you're protecting your heart after um, a period of loss, I mean, whether we lose a job, whether we lose a person, whether we lose a relationship or a friendship, you know, we end up protecting ourselves. We hold off on that energy and we just really, you know, we wait for the right moment to get back out there and start again. So I feel like something intuitively you're feeling in a protective mode. Um, it could also be as well that you've had uh, uh, something that you love doing and you feel like due to external circumstances, you've not been able to launch it. So for example, if you're being your own boss or setting up your own company, you feel like the external circumstances uh, it's not safe for you to do something. But the challenge is recognizing that you got this, that you are stronger than you think, that you can do this. Um, so whether it is about having healthy boundaries in a love relationship, for example, and knowing that you can have the love that you truly desire and deserve, um, whether it is that, you know, you're proving yourself, but you're being diplomatic about it. You don't need to go in like, bulldozing everybody you may be having to be you know be a peacemaker and just show uh that you can you can do this i don't feel like you're proving anything to anybody but yourself but i feel like diplomacy may be important let me just pull a card on this and see what the challenge because i feel like the challenge could be love something that you have your heart set on whether it's a goal, a dream, because water is about dreams. And the king of um, cups is like the big dream. Something you have your heart set on. You feel like it's either not achievable or you have to um, hold back on it just for the time being. you got a page of wands there crossing it, which indicates be curious, be bold, be daring, go after it. Okay, Allow yourself to... Um, investigate things further. Now this could be a new project, for example, that's coming your way, but you feel like, oh, this is something a little bit different. It's something that I would love to do, but you feel like maybe it's a monumental task and you feel, can I do this? Well, the answer is yes, okay? Um, just be bold, be daring, and go after it. The Page of Wands is a bit of a breakthrough energy because it, it, it basically means something that you're enthusiastic about or that you are venturing forth to do. Um, you know, whether it's a new idea or you're starting a new project there, it is about, you know, finding your purpose and allowing your heart to be fully in on it. And even if the external circumstances are a little bit tumultuous right now or you feel like um, you've been holding off, they're indicating you just, it's almost like just go for it, dream boldly. You can have whatever it is that you want. Believe and you shall receive. But the page of, um, the page of wands is often curious about the pathway ahead, discovering something new and discovering a purpose. So it could be just like, you're feeling a little bit intuitively off right now because you're like, I don't know the direction I'm going in. I thought I did, but now I'm just a little bit lost and I need to rediscover what it is I love, what what it is I want. What do I want in a job? What do I want in a path, you know, a life path? What do I want in a person to love or in friendships? You know, what is it I'm hoping for? So I feel like discovering what your heart truly wants and going after it boldly, the universe will meet you halfway. Okay, and bring you whatever it is that you need to move forward on that. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, God, Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know? Whoa, 
Okay, I'm just gonna go get that card. What is below you? The Two of Wands, Pisces, waiting, waiting, waiting. Your readings are always about waiting energy. Two of Wands here. Um, okay, they're giving me a song. One moment, please. Okay. I've got a, something in my pocket. Um, oh gosh, what is this song? Um, isn't it ironic, don't you think? Oh gosh, it goes really muffled. Really. Hmm. Okay, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to take a punt and say it's, uh, someone like Alanis Morissette. Um, or something like that. It sounds like her voice, so I'm, I'm not really 100%. I'm going to have to look it up for you. Uh, I do apologize. I'm scrying at the same time as reading the card, so if something pops up, I'm going to give it to you. Um, I'm not sure how it's relevant. I mean, isn't it ir ironic, don't you think? Um, it's like waiting. It's like a ring on a... Oh, gosh. I feel like it's like the opposite... You know, just when you go to do something, something else comes on in. It feels, you know, like irony. Okay, so. It's like something unexpected. Yeah, so, I mean, please take it as it resonates, that song. I mean, it might be a signifier to you. Uh, it could be that you've been listening to that song just um, before this reading. Uh, so please take it as it resonates. I mean, that song may pop up on the radio when you're in the store. Uh, just after this reading, just pay close attention when that song comes up. Okay, so it's almost like if you don't do something, how can I put that energy, which is not connected to the song. It's almost like if you don't do something, you'll never know. But as soon as you start to go out and do something, something else comes and distracts you. It's ironic that the moment you take a, a leap of faith into something, Something else happens. So I'm not really sure what that is, but anyway, I'll have to leave that there. Um, I'll just leave the song with you. So maybe the song is relevant in some way. If it's not relevant in any way to your circumstances, I'll have to look up the lyrics. Um, it doesn't mean it's not your reading, just means um, that person needs to pay close attention to the reading as their attention may have wavered. Deep down, two of wands, you're willing to wait or there's some sort of news that you're hoping for or some sort of result uh, that you have to wait for before you can move forward. So whether you're about to launch your own business or whether you're about to start a relationship with someone um, or whether you're looking for love and you feel like you've not felt like you've been ready for a while and you've sort of neglected yourself in some way and you're coming back to your center and getting yourself prepared um, to be your best self. Remember Pisces, we don't need to prepare ourselves for these things. We don't need to prepare ourselves for love because the right love will come towards you and they will accept you warts and all. Doesn't matter what you look like, doesn't matter who you are, as long as you're a good person and you're on the same frequency and vibration with that person, they will love you for everything that you are through good times and by bad times, okay? What is meant for you will never pass you by. So just be aware of that. Um, but the two ones, I feel like there's security coming with that. You're building your dreams upon uh, you know, a secure plan, but you're waiting for the results or you're waiting for to make a choice to be able to move forward. So it's almost like, as you can see, that figure is holding the ship, waiting for the right moment to launch that ship until those sharks go, go away or the waters are less choppy. So it's like waiting for the right moment, uh, but there's never a right moment. The time is always now. Okay, Pisces, because you can always feel like something's not ready. You can always be a perfectionist and say, you know what, it's not quite ready yet, so I'll just wait, I'll just wait, I'll just wait. And then all of a sudden, it's never happened. Okay, it's because we've never taken a first step towards it. So let us see. Um, oh, they just asked me to uh, clarify with a different deck, sorry. Uh, two of Wands, can you please clarify? Ooh, the Devil card with the Three of Wands. Oh, something is stopping you from moving forward, quite literally. 
okay? The Devil card is was stuck to the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is the next one up, being able to move forward or expand on. So the Devil card indicates some sort of element that is that needs to be, you need to detach yourself from. Something that is really, let's see, I need a little bit more clarity. I've got, got to go to my faithful traditional way to wait to row to see the way forward on that devil card because how do I receive? Knight of Cups. So it's either not following your heart in some area or you feel like there is, right now you cannot accept love because uh, you're attached to another si situation or another circumstance or there's an opportunity that you cannot manifest or move forward on because you feel like you're not ready or the circumstance has not arised for you yet or you feel like you cannot go after it because something is holding you back. Fear, perhaps, or perfectionism, or something is preventing you from moving forward to following your heart. Perhaps it's unrealistic expectations of a situation. But the Three of Wands indicates there will be expansion, there will be movement forward and celebration, but you got to identify what it is that is preventing that, okay? What is that? What is that devil card for you? Now, the devil card doesn't mean it's something evil. It means that there is something in the way that sometimes we are not even aware of. The trick is with the devil card, it's about identifying it, whether it's fear, whether it's a person who has toxic, low vibe energy, whether it's a boss who is preventing us from moving forward on our goals and dreams. If you're trying to step into a leadership position, for example, at work, um, you know, you may feel like there is an unfair um, hierarchy or an unfair uh, boss who is, you know, unkind or manipulating in a situation that is preventing your movement forward. So it can represent many, many different things. You've got to identify what it is for you that is stopping you from re uh, reaching your full potential in an area or whether it is or going forward to follow your heart in some way. Nine of Pentacles in the moon. Ooh. Okay, so in the recent past, we've got an energy of self-sufficiency. Okay, we got this energy of you got this. The Nine of Pentacles is, you know, financial gain, for example, uh, you know, more money coming on in, uh, in order to be able to uh, live a life of luxury. But the Nine of Pentacles is also Being financially independent. You don't need anybody, Pisces, in terms of love, for example. You wanted somebody. The same with finances. I feel like financially you have made a pact with yourself to be financially independent. And that, you know, a financially more comfortable time is coming towards you. This this buys you some more freedom, actually. And as you can see, all that fruit on the top there by on her, her crown chakra something either an idea or something you just knew paid off or is paying off and brings more financial reward so pay close attention to any ideas that come your way i feel like um there's a little mini little snail right there you know it was slow moving but by gosh you're getting there pisces so i feel like you are moving forward regardless and there's more money coming your way but it's almost like don't hold yourself back. You got this, okay? If there's anything that's preventing you from moving forward, identify what it is. Have that awakening, that epiphany, and remove the blockage so that you can keep moving forward. Now, what is the potential? The moon card. Trust your intuition. It will never lead you astray. The moon card is often a cautious energy, okay? It is about, um, you know, something unseen popping up so that you uh, have to make some changes, some voluntary changes there. It may be adjustments to your plan, or it may be taking a sidestep, a detour. It doesn't mean that your plans are not going to come to fruition. It means you need to make some tweaks in order to uh, move forward. Intuitively, you know that. This is your card as well as Cancerian energy card. So I feel like trusting your intuition is important. But also it's about releasing any illusion, whether that's fear, whether that is um, confusion. It's about receiving that illumination, that clarity to move forward on something. 
it may be frustrating that you're having to wait because it's we've got opposing energies here yes it's very frustrating um, but there's some sort of detour or sidestep that allows you to move into a time of plenty thank you so much spirit guys got angels can you please clarify that moon card for my beautiful pisces can you please guide them for their highest good they're just showing me a star right now they're just showing me a star so either you're healing something or um i mean the star is actually the card before the moon um so maybe you're having hope on something you're hopeful that something is going to happen um but some sort of unseen problem came up to take your attention off your prize and you've had to look at that first and then move forward it doesn't mean that your hope is destroyed in that area two of swords yeah two of swords is a decision a choice you know um you know you have to make a compromise perhaps on something uh two of swords indicates a stalemate kind of energy where there's uncertainty the moon ob also indicates uncertainty but investigating something further will lead you to see the way forward clearer uh, as you can see this little panda is like deep in thought hmm what should i do next how do i uh navigate this uncertain time trusting your intuition is key um, and you will make a decision that allows you to move forward uh, i'm going to go one more before i get what's coming on in towards you thank you so much spirit guys great angels now the feather is on top of this panda's head yeah knowledge is key investigation uh, the feather is on top of this panda's head so the feather indicates number one your guides are with you but they're throwing ideas at you they're throwing situations and solutions at you pay a close attention to the signs pisces they're sending a lot of signs in september for you something that you just know okay because that feather is on top of the crown chakra there um something you just know leads to success you don't know why you know it you don't know how you know it you just know so pay close attention to hunches uh, the hierophant is about knowledge extra knowledge um deepening your commitment to your goals your dreams um, but knowledge will allow you to move towards your abundance whether you're seeking a teacher or a guru or some sort of a person that you feel is in a position of power or authority who has done something that you're hoping to do in the future i feel like you could merge with that person or reach out for advice from that person um, the hierophant is to teach is to learn okay so perhaps you're um Perhaps you're becoming, uh, you know, you're moving into a position to teach somebody or there is a teaching element that is connected to your job or your goal or your dream and it helps you move towards whatever it is that you are wanting to achieve, like an end game. So, for example, let me see, because they just said, give them an example, okay. Um... For example, if you are a um, if for example you are a writer, okay. Um, I'm not sure why these swords are reminding me. I did a reading recently, um, and it sort of came up. The pen is mightier than the sword. It came up in that reading, so uh, I feel like the swords are giving me that energy. Um, something you write, something you've been fighting for. Um, I feel like it comes to fruition okay um so for example if you're a writer okay and you decide you know what i've been given out my novel or my screenplay or my play or whatever um i've been giving out my work for a while and I, i'm not getting any opportunities from it you may decide to go into teaching for example and one of your students is like oh you know, I really read your work and I thought it was incredible. Uh, my uncle is a publisher and I feel like I should put you in touch with that, um, with my uncle because uh, they can help publish your work. And you're like, oh my gosh, it's like a breakthrough happens where you least expect it. Now, it doesn't have to be that situation, but I feel like it's like you do something other that helps you have a breakthrough in another area okay what is coming towards you in terms of the future 
what's the future development for my beautiful Pisces? Can you please guide them? We want another one. Thank you so much. King of Wands, Energy, and the Four of Swords. Let's get ready for success, basically. Get ready to be bold and act upon a dream. Get ready to take action and let your full light shine, Pisces, because uh, this is about being courageous and following a goal or a dream. The Four of Swords says, get that rest you need because there's going to be action. Something's going to happen uh, in the near future, which gives you an opportunity to rise and thrive. Be ready for it, okay? You're gonna see a lot of signs, a lot of signs. Now, right now they're showing me a lilac butterfly, a lilac butterfly. So lilac, when you see like lilac or sort of violet, kind of like butterflies or things like that. It is about your psychic energy. Or if you see um, lilac feathers, for example, um, it's about psychic energy, something you just know. You're being given visions and signs and hunches mainly throughout September, so pay close attention to them. The Four of Swords basically says be ready, okay? Uh, rest, recover, get over whatever it is you need to recover from. Um, because this is about to come on in for you, Pisces. The King of Wands is an influencer energy, someone who is aligned with their goals and their dreams, and someone who's committed to them. They take charge. They, uh, you know, are unstoppable in their energy. Your nonconformity, your sort of determination not to give up on something, leads to success. This is you enthusiastically moving forward um, towards. Um, something you've been trying to achieve for a long time. This is passion, okay? So I feel like you're accomplishing something. You're being inspired to lead in something and take that first step. Um, now, whether you are moving into a position of power or responsibility, because we've got two king energies here, um, you know, something that you're launching, I feel like you're going to be bold enough to just go for it. Um, and it's going to come out very, very successfully here. I feel like people will pay attention to what you have to say. I also feel like, you know, you're pretty sensible most of the time, um, Pisces, but I feel like something you either all of a sudden just take action on or take charge on, it just works out perfectly, okay? And you'll be glad that you took the risk or the gamble. If it's in terms of love, you're looking for love, I feel like there is a passionate union coming on in here that comes out of nowhere, but you may be mending your heart from a, a previous relationship or a previous hurt there. And although you're very self-sufficient in solitary energy, um, you know, it's taken some time to get to the point where you want to accept love because you may have felt like it's not ready for you. Uh, you're not ready for it at this time, but you will know when the right uh, moment is to accept that love. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? Uh, what is their present energy or their advice to themselves for September? What is their advice to themselves in September? We've got Nine of Cups. So follow your heart. Follow your hopes and dreams. Go after whatever it is that your hope, your heart desires. It's also about uh, manifesting new love, for example, um, and um, sort of manifesting a, a pure love, uh, purity, authenticity, uh, peace. You know, this figure here, she's playing her heart there. So whatever it is that your heart desires, you're playing it out and it brings peace. There's a lotus flower unfolding there, which is it's bringing peace. So this is about, you know, attracting romance, for example, but falling in love with yourself first before you extend your love to others. It is also about aligning yourself with your goals and dreams and your heart's desire and going after it at full speed. You know, the Knight of uh, Cups is the sort of knight that receives like, it's almost like a, a conquest wants to achieve something and follows it with their whole heart and achieves it, you know, and then moves up to that King of Cups energy where you become a boss at it. Okay, so whether that's a goal or a dream that you're reaching for, it's like put all of your heart and your soul into it and people will see how good you are at what you do. Don't give up, 
Okay, there's opportunity that lies in the shadows that are going to just pop out of nowhere for you uh, when you least expect it. So whatever it is you've been working really hard on, just don't don't give up is what they're giving me there. What are the external circumstances? Page of Wands. Be curious. Be bold. Okay, they're giving me the same card, different deck. So as you can see, there's like a little magnifying glass. You know, look deeper. Look closer. Uh, be bold, be an explorer. This person here, this Sagittarian energy, explore the way forward. Be enthusiastic about your goals and dreams. Venture forth. You know, this is the beginning of something exciting, whether it's the new love or whether it's a, a, a new job or a new idea. You know, you're finding your purpose with this card and your ideas have value. Very, very important. Explore them deeper. It will lead to a different kind of magic. It leads to that King of Wands energy. It seems to be whatever it is you're going after, you know, it's almost like you're at the nearly at the finish line. You're nearly there. Knight of Cups leading to the King of Cups. The Page of Wands leading to the King of Wands. So I feel like the challenge is any hunches, follow them. Manifestations, don't give up on them because they're going to come to term. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Now, this is a hope and a fear. So four of cups energy. You're feeling a little bit disconnected, feeling a little bit fed up, okay? As you can see, that figure is mourning something, either a loss because, you know, um, it's raining there. They're, they're, they're closed off to opportunity. They're, they've got their arms like that. They're feeling like completely insular in a protective mode. But spirit's indicating they got your back. That little um, duck there represents spirit holding an umbrella. Umbrellas are protection, protection from the storm, protection from the rain, okay? So spirits got your back, they're, they're looking after you behind the scenes, and the Four of Cups often means that there is an opportunity that just comes out of nowhere when you least expect it. So don't give up. Um, I'm gonna show you the Four of Cups in the traditional Rider Waite Tarot because basically there's a figure who is closed off to opportunity or feels that whatever it is they're hoping for just hasn't shown up in their world. And um, all of a sudden, another cup comes out of nowhere and surprises um, the person. But you can't see it yet because you're not looking for it. Could you please guide me? Thank you so much. Four cups, thank you so much. Um, they're indicating that there is a new opportunity just popping out of nowhere for you. Be ready, be ready to receive. Open yourself up to it. Do not close yourself off for this. Could you please? Hmm. Okay. So weird. I asked them where there is. They said forward middle. So I went towards the middle. Forward middle? Okay. I mean, that's... Hmm. It's more forward than it is middle. But anyway, huh. I'll always uh, say when they, they haven't given it to me quite exactly as it is, but... Uh, we got it all the same. Um, thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Four of Cups. This person's looking pretty fed up with what life has dealt with them so far. But there's something else coming on in here. And you see that cloud that's, you know, tumultuous energy. The storm. So it's almost like in the storm, there is going to be an opportunity that pops right out of nowhere, Pisces. And it's going to be more emotionally rewarding than ever before. Whether that is a friendship, love an opportunity for your goals or your dreams. It's like, keep yourself open to opportunity because you can't see it right now, okay? Um, but it is coming and spirit are working things behind the scenes to bring you something better. Now, fear could be that you feel like nothing's coming for you because nothing's been happening. You've been in delay for quite some time, Pisces. Uh, but that four of um, cups indicates um, looking at things in a different way. Uh, opening yourself up to other opportunities because it's almost like if you have to make a detour, it may lead you to something greater than you were expecting. It doesn't mean your dream or your destination is not going to be reached. It means you're going to just take a different journey to get there. Okay. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can we have an outcome for my beautiful Pisces? Oh my gosh, the hangman, which is Pisces energy. And then the King of Pentacles. It's worth the wait. It is worth the wait. They're basically saying this is worth waiting for. This is jackpot. King of Pentacles. Okay. 
Now, of course, there's three kings here, so it could be that there is uh, three of you partnering up in something, and it's taken a long time to get there. There's been a lot of conversations, but nobody's actually taking action on something. And then all three of you just boldly go after it, and it's going to be really successful. Um, or it's about three people seeing things from a different perspective and, um, you know, trying to achieve something. And it leads to success. Uh, the, the King of Pentacles is a Midas touch kind of energy. This is a breakthrough. It's, it's, it's slow moving, but it is about making really wise decisions. Uh, you got this. Uh, trust your intuition. You're making the right moves. You're making the right decisions. Uh, yes, it requires a new perspective. Yes, you have felt like you've been in limbo. Yes, you've sacrificed a lot to get there, but the reward is worth it. Do not give up on your dreams and your goals because the hangman indicates you're about to unveil something really interesting. You're on the precipice of change. Okay, as you can see, uh, unzipping like a new day, a brighter day there. Um, all your sacrifice is not for nothing. Uh, you will gain something new from this and it looks like the ten, sorry, the king of pentacles, uh, you, you got that stag there, which those antlers mean something you've been fighting for something you've been trying really hard to achieve is going to pay off really handsomely you're going from a nine of pentacles right to the king of pentacles so i feel like whatever you set out to do you're going to capitalize on it it's going to be better than you ever expected if you're looking for love you may be releasing uh, an emotionally manipulative situation mending your wonderful heart and then out of nowhere out of the blue um, there's a couple of options in terms of love. One is very passionate, will sweep you off your feet. The other one is slow moving, but a bit more dependable. So you get to, de to decide, but I feel like as long as you follow your heart in every situation, Pisces, it will never lead you astray, okay? Very positive month for you. Uh, you're, it's almost like there's going to be some choices thrown up towards you. You do have to make a compromise, okay? Uh, you have to make a decision on something, something that feels a little bit uncertain, but trust your hunches. So I'll leave it there. I'm just going to give you a trinket before we close. Thank you so much for it, guys. For an eagle, can you please? Okay. Wow. So we have musical notes. So that's about tuning in, raising your vibrations. Okay. Very important during this time because it is a bit of a tumultuous time energetically for the collective, not just for you, Pisces. But I feel like you're raising your vibrations. Also, there's three notes there. They're working together as one. So it can be, again, about that three kings. It doesn't have to be masculine energy, but it could be the energy of action, taking action on something. So three people coming together, for example, to work together on something, or it can be, you know, things aligning to bring you what you need. They want it on the judgment card. So whatever it is you're weighing up, I feel like you're tuning in your, your frequencies and you're um, having an epiphany and realizing the way to move forward. Also, we have the engagement ring. So that means there's some sort of clarity here, but also some sort of unity. Okay, something is coming together. I mean, if you're looking for love, it can mean that you're finding a stable love after a period of uncertainty, feeling like maybe you're gonna be alone forever. All of a sudden you meet someone and they deepen their commitment with you and you with them. Okay, this is about finding that diamond in the rough, something you may have been searching for for a while. If it's opportunity, it may be that you're partnering up with the right people to create something really lucrative, something that's quite successful. I mean, it could even mean that you are starting your own jewelry business and, you know, it's going to lead to a lot of financial reward in the future because you're very unique. Um, uh, they want it on the moon card. Interesting. An opportunity popping out of nowhere. Uh, also, unity in uncertainty. People gathering together to help each other out during this time. Also, we have that heart with a hole in it and the love written there. There's a love written there, an arrow going through that heart. So they are indicating here that, you know, maybe it's a second chance at something, whether it's a second chance at love after pain uh, or whether you feel like you lost out on a job or opportunity and, you know, it left a real um, sadness in your heart there. And, you know, the arrow is you being right on target for another opportunity. It's almost like you're getting a second chance or a second stab at it, okay, with that heart. So, all is not lost, my beautiful Pisces. Where would you like this? The one on the King of Pentacles. Wow. So, this is something stable. This is something that is really good for you. This is something solid, loyal, or or uh, practical if it's a, you know, a job opportunity. So, I feel like you're leveling up. You're, you're increasing your money. You're increasing your stability but also you're increasing your um, courage 
to go after a goal and a dream and be very successful at it. I'll leave it there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Thank you so much, my beautiful Pisces. Love and light.